Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Kamari Ellis here for another edition of Ask Kamari. But actually, this is a bit of a different edition of Ask Kamari. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different, a little bit special. Um, for a while now, I've been wanting to do something a bit more comprehensive. And my buddy, uh, uh, Chris Serona, challenged me to do a 30-day video challenge. So I'm going to put up at least 30 videos, one every day, um, talking about different investment basics. So after the end of this 30 days, you'll have a better understanding of the world of investments. And then hopefully, I'm hoping uh, that you'll be able to improve your investment returns and um, be better able and equipped to understand when you hear people in the media talk about the Dow Jones this or the S&P that. Uh, it's it's my, my background, again, uh, just in case if you're not sure, was I started out as an accountant, became an institutional money manager. So basically, I used to work with firms who manage um, north of 500 million uh, dollars in assets uh, work with and at those firms I got a chance to work with a lot of municipalities with uh, school bond funds and things like that um, high net worth individuals um, uh, unions uh, pension plans endowments small businesses and also some nonprofits so I've, I've seen the wide array of investment of the investment world and I'm here to give it all to you for free so uh, take advantage of it um, but today I just wanted to talk really quickly about why investing, why is it important. Um, today we live in an ever-changing society. Uh, things are really going fast. And our middle class, especially in the United States, is beginning to shrink. So it's really important that we have all our tools and opportunities available to us to try to make sure we maximize our money, our value, and our wealth. Um, because things are changing. Uh, when you look at the middle class in terms of jobs, a lot of them are being outsourced or either being removed by technology. So to me, it, it's, it's even more imperative that we're very, really good stewards of our money. Um, try to make that money work for us as best as possible. In the book, uh, The Richest Man in Babylon, it said to make slaves out of your money. So that, this is what we're looking to do. Hopefully at the end of this 30 days, you'll be able to make slaves out of your money. On the investment side, you'll be able to power up your 401k and your IRA. Uh, when you when you hear about things uh, in the world about investments, every night at five o'clock, you usually hear somebody talk about uh, the Dow Jones did this. Well, what does that actually mean? So we'll we'll actually talk about that. We'll get into that. But you know, normally the the best case scenario for investing is when you have some leftover money. And I know that sounds like something really really stupid. But it's the truth. Um, so let's say you, you ran a business and your business, I don't know, generated $20,000 a month. But it, the business only needed $10,000 a month to operate. So that other $10,000 was profit. And we're not even talking about taxes or anything like that. I know it's tax time. Um, but that $10,000 is something you could use to fund your investment program. You shouldn't use any money that you, you need to pay your, your mortgage, your rent. Uh, your, your children's tuition or your car note or anything like that you want to use something that's left aside you won't, don't want to use your last little bit of money um, that's the first thing um, so th that's the first thing when it comes to investments the second thing is inflation now what is inflation inflation is the rise of goods and services or the rise in the price of goods and services over a period of time so a great example of that is when I first started driving in the early 90s, that was a long time ago, gas was 98 cents a gallon. Today, gas is north of $3.40 a gallon. So right there, that's a perfect example of uh, the rise of goods and prices or the rise in cost of uh, prices and, and services. So this is one thing we always have to think about. Normally, if that extra, let's say, $10,000 from that business was just sitting in a bank account, it's not going to make uh, the cost of inflation. It's not going to generate a return greater than the cost of inflation. So what happens then? You're actually losing money. So let's say you had ten thousand dollars sitting in your account, and I could buy you, I don't know. Let's say uh, it could pay for a year's worth of rent at your establishment. Well, ten years from now, it may only pay for six months worth of rent at your current establishment. So you have to be, you know, always thinking about that. So that's one of the, the biggest things uh, about investments and one of the starter sessions for investments today. So that that's number one. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, and we'll, we'll be doing a lot more. If you have any questions uh, about investments, feel free to jump on over at AskKamari.com or, or shoot me something over at, on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is AskKamari. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.